Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience renting and using the Mantis XP Rototiller. I'm here at my allotment garden. It's a space I took over at the start of this year. And when I first saw it, I knew it was going to have a ton of potential, although it was going to be a lot of work to get it where I wanted to be. I started things off by bringing in about 30 wheelbarrow loads of leaf mold just to start getting some more organic matter into the soil because it was so packed down and um, just not looking very good whatsoever. Now that we're getting into the beginning of summertime, it was time to look into mixing that organic matter into the soil, loosening it up and getting it ready to plant out. Now, before I go too far into this, I need to acknowledge I know that rototilling can be a bit of a controversial subject in some circles. My goal isn't to weigh in on either side of the debate. I think there could be circumstances for either argument given the situation. And I felt for my own that I would benefit from rototilling this year. I probably could have paid someone to do it but I was interested in learning about it and doing it myself. And I think it worked out really well. The Mantis is marketed as a beginner-friendly, easy-to-use device. That's kind of the point of this video. I'm no expert myself. I'm just your average Joe. On a bad day, I might not even be able to spell rototiller. And so the point is, if I'm able to do it, so are you. Firing up the Mantis was a breeze. When starting from cold, press the primer bulb approximately six times. Next, close the choke by putting it in the up position and then pull to start. Once the motor has warmed up, you can open the choke. If you need to start it when it's already warm, there's no need to prime or close the choke. If it doesn't start, double check the on off trigger is switched to the on position. Honestly, it happens to the best of us. I found that the tiller started up on the first pull every time for me. It has a very reliable Honda four cycle engine that I cannot fault. It was also very economical on fuel. I used approximately three quarters of the tank while also being very thorough in how much I went over my thousand square foot space. From what I could find, the tank volume seems to only be a half liter. So this is really good, in my opinion, even with today's horrible gas prices. You'll notice that rather than pushing, as you would with a conventional rototiller, that with the Mantis, the primary action is pulling towards you. You can help steer it in the direction you wish to move it by pushing down on either side you wish to move towards. I found that the Mantis easily dealt with the less than ideal conditions I put it through. It's meant as a lighter duty tool, preferable for spaces that are already relatively loose with the soil or have previously been tilled. That being said, parts of my plot were still quite wet and packed down. I was really impressed with how much the Mantis was able to still dig down into these areas. Overall, I'm really pleased with my experience and results having rented the Mantis XP. It definitely exceeded my expectations for what it was able to handle, and it made short work of my allotment space. I was able to work in the mulch and mix the soil to a depth of about 10 to 12 inches, and I'm left with really nice, loose, workable soil now and the best part of all is i didn't have to break my body to achieve those results two thumbs up